Last week, we started our realistic self-portrait and started to draw our head, eyes, nose, and mouth. This week, we're going to continue to draw and add the ears, neck, shoulder, hair, and eyebrows. So we'll talk about the facial proportions of those parts. And then our goal today is to observe. Observing is to look at something very carefully and noticing everything, including the details. So after you're done drawing the rest of your self-portrait, I'm going to have you guys look in the mirror very carefully, notice things about your face, and then add those as details. Those might be things like your earrings, things like the details of your hair texture, beauty marks or moles or freckles or glasses or anything else you would like to add to your self-portrait to make it look like you. I will first talk about facial proportions using our workbook, which you're welcome to do if you have one. And then I'll talk about how to add those things to your self-portrait. Last week, we talked about the facial proportions for the eyes, nose, mouth. And now we're going to talk about where the hair starts, where the eyebrows go, and where the neck and shoulders go. First, let's talk about where the hair starts. You might think that the hair starts at the top of your head, but then you're, it's gonna look like you don't have enough hair because your forehead is gonna be huge. So your hair actually starts about halfway from your, where your eyes are to where the top of your head is. So it's this line right here. So if you don't have any bangs, that means that if you don't have any hair that is coming down at the front of your head, then this is where you're going to start drawing your hair. So for example, if you have really short hair, and then you connect about to where the eyes are with a diagonal line. So that's where the hair starts to grow. If you have short hair that's maybe close to being shaved, that's all you really have to do. But if you have some texture to your hair, you could add some. Or if you have longer hair, you could draw it all the way. If you have a ponytail, maybe your hair goes up like this. So you could draw the textures going up and then draw a ponytail up here. My hair's starting to look crazy because there's a lot of things going on. Also, if you have bangs, that's hair coming down, then you're going to draw the shape of that hair and then add some texture. So that's if you have bangs. I'm going to erase that part so that I can show you the eyebrows next. So the eyebrows go about in between halfway where the eyes are and where the hair starts. So it's going to be about here. And an eyebrow is not just a line. It has a shape. So look in the mirror and draw the shape of your eyebrows. And then your ears start about where the eyes are and then go about where the bottom of your nose is. Same on this side. Starts where that line for the eye is and goes to about where the bottom of the nose is. And then your neck is going to be pretty close to where the ear ends. A lot of people make their neck too small and it makes yourself look like a bobblehead. So just remember that your neck is gonna be pretty close to connecting to the bottom of your ears. So that is the rest of our facial proportions. And now if you would like to, if you have a workbook, you can practice that on this blank one. So now let's apply what we learned from our workbook to our final draft of our self-portrait. So I like to start with the ears. So you're going to start the ear shape about where the eyes start, and then draw it all the way to about where the nose ends. Same on the other side where the eyes are, connecting to about where the nose ends. And then the neck is going to be pretty close to where the ear is. Draw straight lines. Curve out. Other side too. And then put a shirt on yourself. If you're drawing a t-shirt like this, your shirt is going to start around where that curve is. If you make it any higher, it's gonna look like you're wearing a turtleneck shirt. 
which is okay if you want to draw it that way, but if you want a regular shirt, you want to draw it under that curve. And then we're going to add the hair. The hair starts about halfway between the top of the head and where the eyes are. So don't start drawing the hair right at the top because then your forehead is going to be too big. So make a little line about where halfway from the eyes to the forehead. And just remember that you're going to start drawing your hair on that line. So you might draw zigzags. I'm going to try some short hair. And then add some texture on the top of your hair. So that's if you would have short hair. If you have longer hair, you might draw it all the way or even past your shoulder if you have really long hair. If the front of your hair is not really zigzag but it's straight, then maybe you draw the shape of your hair like that. That's if you have bangs. That's hair in the front of your face like Mrs. Poole. I think I'm going to keep my bangs because I'm going to try and make it look like me a little bit. And then try and add some texture. Texture is how something feels. So hair is stringy, so you would draw some lines in the direction of where the hair is going. So I added some hair, and then your eyebrows. You're going to add it using a shape, not just a line, but add a shape. And then look in the mirror and find new things that you notice about your face. And looking carefully is called observing. And you're going to observe your face to find details. Details are little things that make your artwork exact. So if I look at myself, I have a mole right here. I have a mole over here. I have some freckles. I'm not wearing earrings today, but usually I do, so I think I'm going to add some earrings. If you have glasses, you would draw the shape of your lenses. And then draw the lines that connect the glasses together and then connect it to your, the top of your ears. And then look inside of your ear and see what kind of patterns you see in there and try to add it to your ears. I'm going to erase the glasses because I don't wear glasses during the day. And then if you want to, you can erase some of the guidelines. Those are the lines that we drew in the middle of the face to help us draw accurately. We don't need those anymore, so you can erase those. Or you can wait to erase those until after we trace our drawing with Sharpie marker. That is totally up to you. So this is where we're going to finish today. We'll trace and color another day. So today just observe the details of your face and try to add it to your self-portrait. Just use pencil spell this week. So again, for your self-portrait, we're still doing just pencil, but draw the ears, neck, shoulders, hair, and eyebrows. Look at yourself in the mirror and observe very carefully. Add the details that you find to your drawing. And then please upload it to the realistic self-portrait section on Arsonia. If you can do Arsonia, please send it to me through Canvas. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great week.